Hello and welcome to Coco Styling. If you have any beauty suggestions, you can post them in the comments down below and let me know what's your favorite fashion style. I might make a video about it. Also, let me know what you think about cottage core as a style aesthetic. What is cottage core? This is an aesthetic that refers to the romanticized interpretation of the Western agricultural life. It focuses on a simple farm life that harmonizes with nature. This also means that it's not only about clothes, it can also be considered a lifestyle. It can also be called farm core and country core because they share the same basis. Just like every other aesthetic, cottage core overlaps with other styles that you can use for inspiration. Some of them are morique, fairy core, and boho. If you're interested, my last video was about how to look boho. Morike, also known as Mori Girls, is a Japanese fashion style that is inspired by the aesthetic of living in the woods. Fairy core is a more ethereal version of cottage core because it also focuses on the fantasy aspect of living in the woods. Cottage core is centered around a simpler life. Most of the pieces that you see when you look for this aesthetic are vintage inspired. Most of them from the 1800s fashion. You will find lots of color and paper dresses between the 1800s and the 1860s. If you're planning to sew your own clothes for affordability or just because you enjoy sewing, you can use paintings from this era from inspiration. A very good tip is to look at the art collections from museums. Since they are vintage inspired, they not only take inspiration from the 1800s, you can also find lots of silhouettes from the 1950s and the looser elements of the 70s. Thank Dior's new look. Marilyn Monroe, Ella Fitzgerald, Diana Ross, Pearl Bailey, and Dorothy Danbridge. They all have these dainty, roughly, almost weightless look in their clothes. Depending on your frame, maybe weightless is not the best look for you. Look at Dior's new look, it has more sturdy and sharper silhouettes because of the fabric, but it also works really well for the cottage core aesthetic. Wearing the right colors is always important in every aesthetic. In this one, if you're warm, choose colors like brown, yellow, green, orange, and red. And if you're cool, choose colors like purple, pink, green, and blue. Depending on your contrast level, soft pastels or more intense colors that make contrast with your skin. If you want to learn more about your color season, I have a playlist down below to help you with that. Puff sleeves. Puff sleeves are great for this style. However, they do add volume to your structure if you have a pear body shape, short puff sleeves are best. If you are an inverted triangle or an apple, long puff sleeves like bishop sleeves and poet sleeves. And if you are an hourglass or a rectangle, you can alternate between long and short depending on the look you want. Hair. You can do almost anything you want with your hair. You can have an effortless, hairstyle or a sleek hairstyle, anything goes, it's not that important in this look. Flower patterns If you are a clear or dark season, choose patterns in a high contrast level, and if you are a light or soft season, choose a pattern in a low contrast level. Keep in mind, the print doesn't always have to be on your clothes. You can also get other pieces, like hats, bags, or scarves, with patterns. 
and it's easier to find higher contrast leveled patterns in those kinds of pieces than in clothes. Textures Textures like lace are ideal. They can also be sheer or solid. You can pair a simple dress that has lace accents with a hat or a scarf and your cottagecore outfit is completely ready to go. Embroidery Embroidery can give your outfit the final touch it needs. You can buy your pieces already embroidered or you can do it yourself and make a, a completely unique piece. Brothery, Anglais, and Swiss Dot are perfect textures for cottagecore. Hot scarves and headpieces. You can go the fancy and elaborate way and get a hat with scallops or a lace scarf, or you can go with a simple head wrap or a simple straw hat. Vintage undergarments. This would be extremely inappropriate back then, but cottagecore garments take great inspiration from vintage undergarments from different ages. You can use looser pieces like the chemise and the petticoats, or stiffer and tighted pieces like stays and corsets that help you shape your base piece. Cottagecore Vibes if you really like this aesthetic, but you also want a very functional outfit, you can try to incorporate just certain elements of cottagecore, but not everything. This way, you have the look, but your outfit is completely functional for everyday activities. Cottagecore You can also go to the darker side with cottagecore. You have the same elements, but in darker hues like black, dark purples, burgundy, and other dark colors. Flounces, frills, layers, and gathers. Feminine and delicate accents like bows, lace trim, embroidery, and strings are great. They will give your look a soft and ethereal feeling. Play with your makeup. You can get extremely creative. Cottagecore is very ethereal and takes a lot of inspiration from fairies and fantasy stories. You can play with your makeup and add less conventional elements like flowers and glitter and it will still go perfectly with that forest living aesthetic. Delicate accessories. The best ones are based on natural elements like flowers, animals, insects or trees. Now that we have covered my tips for cottagecore, I will be talking about the wardrobe essentials. 1. Peasant blouse. This is a simple shirt with lace trim or flower embroidery. They usually have puffy sleeves and a sweetheart neckline. The classical peasant shirt is not for every body type, but you can look for variations depending on your body structure and shape. There are loose peasant blouses that look like a chemise. You can wear them like that or get a corset or a stay to use as a belt and shape them. There are also peasant blouses that have been adapted to today's trends. 2. Pinafore dress. This is a dress that looks like an apron. You are supposed to layer it with other kinds of flowy shirts. But you can wear it by itself. Since they are modeled after aprons, they will give your rustic look the final touch. And they are also very useful when they have pockets as well. Layered skirts. Tiered and layered skirts that look like petticoats are a must-have in every cottagecore wardrobe. You can go for long or short, puffy or loose. There are lots of options. 4. A flowy dress. It can be any length, maxi, midi or mini, depending on what fits you best according to your structure. Knitwear or a cardigan. You want to get a knit sweater in a looser fit. Pieces with details like bows or embroidery are ideal and they can be the main piece of your outfit while they keep you warm. Vintage shoes like Oxford's or Mary Jane's are great if you want a more delicate look. But Kembit boots and Doc Martens are also extremely functional. If you want, you can also decorate your shoes and give them a completely unique look. Strappy sandals are also a must-have. They can be low or high-heeled. 
If they are in a neutral color, they will be easier to pair. But it's better to get a neutral and contrasting color. So don't choose your own nude color. For example, if you are dark skinned, choose beige or ivory. And if you are light skinned, choose brown or terracotta. Woven shoes. There are lots of options sandals, mules, flats, espadrilles, and heels. A straw hat. A straw hat will always make your outfit look more natural and raw. A woven bag. Just like wearing a straw hat, a woven bag will make your outfit more natural and it will fit perfectly with that living in the forest aesthetic. 11. Corset inspired top. They can make your outfit look more interesting and elaborate even if you just pair it with jeans. 12. Shirt garments. They are very flattering on most figures and they are also extremely comfortable. These were all of my tips for a cottagecore wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you want me to talk about anything else. I would also like to announce that I will be launching a traditional blog soon. You will find the transcripts of my videos and even more information, like places to shop for each style and free guides to help you with your style journey. One of the first posts will be a list of places where you can shop for cottagecore clothes, including my personal favorite stores, where to shop if you're plus sized, affordable options, and more. If you want me to talk about anything, just comment it down below. Also, you can hire me as your stylist or buy my style and color guides at cocostyling.com. Have a nice day and I hope to see you soon!